and Laverne Gordon, founder and president of Love Life Now Foundation. What are some of those things that have individuals coming back to a situation like that where they are experiencing domestic violence? But there are also so many other reasons that uh, people end up staying in these relationships and the gamut runs wide. It could be financial, it could be uh, children, it could be a housing situation where if they leave, they become homeless. It could be uh, being ostracized from community if you decide to out the perpetrator. There are so many reasons why victims end up staying, but I, I really, you know, what we focus on at Love Life Now Foundation is awareness and prevention around this issue. And what we try to incite is that the narrative has to change. The, the question should not be why do victims end up going back on average seven to 10 times, which is what it takes for victims to leave. Yeah. But the question should be is how do we hold abusers accountable for their actions like you said Levine, this is something that can be normalized yes but looking at perpetrators do you think it is possible for abusers to change after that sub person hits you or verbally abuses you or emotionally puts you down or mentally warps you please know that it is 99 percent positive that they will do it again they have to want to make a change, right? Um, just like you wanting to leave because you've had enough, they have to see that what their actions have done has caused harm. And then they have to seek the help to get it themselves. You can't stay around and help them change. No amount of licks, as they say in Trinidad, um, that you take will make them want to change. And a lot of the times victims are sticking around for that. They're thinking, if I cry enough, if they see the children hurting enough, if anything enough, this will make a change. And it just is not, that's not the case.